welcome back to the channel. I hope you liked the last video of players. More to come soon of that anyway. Um, but anyhow, so fast, so recent after the last video, what's going on? Well, I sold my Audi TT and I bought myself a running project daily car. Um, I'll reveal it soon. It's a little bit rough around the edges. It needs some TLC, but all things I can do. I walk around the car, um, but I've had a disaster story already with it. Um, freshly refilled alloys, one day worth of owning, and I hit a pothole, a pothole on the bypass, blew a brand new tire out, buckled the wheel, and cracked it. So, luckily, Matthew's helped me out, and he's lent me a tire temper, a wheel temporarily. Um, why well, is my alarm going off then? It's not. And there's a few other niggles, but I'll take you on the car now. It's a rough diamond. I don't know if you're going to look at what car is from here, but the bonnet's flown open once before. It smashed the windscreen and it's caused some damage to the roof. We'll sort all this out. We'll take the aerial out to hit it back up. Do you know what car it is yet? Fast need for temporary touch up. Not the best, I'll be honest with you, but bought myself this to uh, sort some stuff out. Any idea what it is yet? Ford Performance Blue. It's not my finest work, but obviously more presentable than having just a bit of rust in there. Going to get a new wing for it anyway. In the paint in the bonnet, paint in the wing, blender into the doors, get rid of that. Which would by now you've guessed what it is. It is a Ford Focus ST2. Rocking a ST3 front bumper. I do have the ST2 bumper as well, which come with a car and different grills and all that kind of stuff. I want to keep it looking standard. It's had a freshly reset, um, refurbished set of wheels on it. Um, the car all in all is okay. Not easy little thing it is. Taking some poor gel overlay badges off and stuff. Somebody's tinted the lights out and stuff. It had done um, gel overlays on here. Um, KMS, do you know, you know. Comes with a decat and stuff, but it does have a cap on there. That's locked a second, hold on. Two key car and all that kind of stuff. HBI clear. Don't even ask about that. Um, cloth interior, Matthew's offered me leather, but I actually do like the cloth. So yeah, blue LED lights and stuff down there. Headlights are absolutely atrocious. So next job for these, remove them, um, 800, 1500, wet sand, squeeze them off and uh, polish them up. I'm gonna make them look like brand new. Get the other grillers painted up really nice and the ST badge back on. Maybe replace that. Get my private plate and stuff on it. Like I said, sort the roof out. But yeah, you might notice at the moment, it has an odd wheel on the front. Um, and that's because I hit a pothole. Um, absolutely mortified. Um, show you a clip of the damage and stuff. It's done. The wheel has cracked the inside of it and it's caused the outsides to buckle a bit. It's not leaking air, which is great through air, but it's leaking air through where it's cracked. So that's going tomorrow back down to ANS to get it welded. So yeah, you can't write this stuff. But yeah, anyhow, that's my project car. I had to get rid of the Audi because I needed room in the back for the kids. Um, do you know what? I like it. It's not easy. Um, it goes well. Chelsea's driven it. She's enjoyed it as well. It is a bit of an asbo with the exhaust, as you can imagine. Um, so I will be keeping the cat on it, staying all legal and all that kind of stuff. Um, so it's with the MOT. HBI clear. Um, I was supposed to pick up others, but they come back with finance on it, and that was a massive no-no to me. Um, but yeah, it's a, it's a project car, I'll uh, evolve it over the channel, it's not going to happen overnight. All the boys are like, oh, get a massive front mount in the cooler, chuck a lever in it, get my two Focus RS front seats for it. I'm like, nah, I actually went as it is. Get a lock of dials, lower it. Nah, I went there as it is. Put, put a back box on it with um, bafflers in it, Just make it quieter. No, I like it as it is. Um, it's not there to spend money. Um, it's had a belt stun on there. It's a tension as apparently it's got an RS clutch and flywheel on there, block mod, all that kind of stuff. So it says, and no paperwork. Um, I'll do a little video of it going on a private road. Um, and one of me in Mexico where I picked it up. But yeah, other than that, it's, it's a cool little car. I'll get some clips and stuff and montage and B road. But that is it for today. Um, and maybe if I get some jobs in on it tomorrow, maybe I'll include them. But in the meantime, um, stay tuned, enjoy. And if you like focuses as well now, Follow for more. Welcome back everybody to the second part of the video. Um, 
It's fallen day now. Let's hear a little bit of a cold stack grumble, shall we? I'm not too sure if you can hear that. It's quite drawn in. So I'll take our time now to get up the temperature. Keep it nice and cool. For the foreseeable. Sorry, nice and slow. Apparently, if you floor these from cold and you turn them off when they're hot, that's what cracks the liners and causes damage to the engine. So I've been told by all the boys who got them. <laughs> no easy thing, isn't it? It's like a proper asbo. So yeah, I'll get some clips of it, like boosting and stuff in a bit now, and I'll get some exhaust ones, just so you can hear it. I'll get an actual cold start start up from Korea as well, so you can hear it. But yeah, at the moment, that's it. I'm off to my friend's house who bought my Audi to do a little job because the rear lights on your Audis have an earthing problem and it started to go, so I'm just going to do bad goodwill for my friend. Yeah, but uh, I'll see you there. So, a few things about this car I've picked up all already. Um, it's a later screen, the ST3 screen, I think, and the mirror, which has got like the auto lights and everything on it, but the wiring is cut because it's a screen of another car. Get that wired in and get it switched on, hopefully. Um, the CD player, it's got a Ford 600 CD. Apparently it's got Bluetooth controls and stuff on phone, but it's not pairing, so maybe it doesn't have a Bluetooth module. I'll be honest, after coming from the Audi and having both and like built in like subwoofers and like the little amps, they're all factory. It's a terrible sound system in this car. It's very tinny. Yeah, it's very tinny, it's not very good. Um, it's quiet, it's, it's, it's just not the best. Um, it's got auxiliary in option, but I don't know if you've got a Ford Focus, the auxiliary in is in the glove box. So how on earth and why on earth would you run a wire from your glove box dangling out to a car? I don't know. The guy put a switch on it for a fan, gotta get any plastic fascia on it. The light dirt, no, the ashtray thing pops up and down. I find the fans when you put them on, when they're on, they flick open and close and stuff like that, so there's not much resistance in the plastics to keep it open. Does my head in a little bit, but it just niggles. It's still a bit of plastic trim to go back on. Um, clean the interior in here, and then like bring it back up, get it wet back, and stuff like that. I got back home, I'll do. But yeah, so far, all in all, it's a, it, it's a nice car. Um, it has those niggles, but like I said, I've come from a top end luxury car, apparently the Audi, into a Ford Sports model, whatever. This does drive nice, it does drive smooth. Uh, it's doing wonders for my back already. Seat composition is quite high in it. Plenty of headroom bow as well. Um, I noticed when we took the wheel off that the front pads do need changing on the front. Um, he did say that they would be doing soon, so that's fair of him. The, well, this is not, oh yeah. It's either drop blink on it or lower arms, it's a bit of like rattle now and again. We've done like curve tests and pushed it up and down against them when it's running and it seems okay. But I think I just swap out all the rubbers on the bottom and that kind of stuff just to make it feel nice and tight. Um, it's running on standard suspension, it's got brand new shocks and springs on it. And do you know what? If it drives a dream, everyone's like lower it. But not at the moment. Even though there are lower springs available to me, so boys break them or you can buy them online cheap enough. But yeah, I, th I think it looks nice to the height there is. Um, the car's just getting up the temperature now, so when I get to an open road, it'll give it a bit of guts view to see. It's a bit of a noisy one, it's got a bit of a burble going on. The car's up the temperature now, so I can start enjoying it. For the five pot purpose. Um, tension is done, but 
I don't know, I don't have tensions, but every like now and again, I hear a bit of whirring when I come on boost, so I don't know if it could be a vacuum leak or something, or it could be a squealing tensioner. I'm going to have to have a look at it, but I'm likely to change both tensioners on it, just to be on the safe side. My mate Simon's going to do it for me, he doesn't know yet, but it's a nice easy job. I'm on my way to drop off my wheel now to get it welded with Tony in A&S, well, Long Life in Britain Ferry. He's going to sort me out, he's got his gold, he's done bits of work on my other cars, he's really good actually. Um, he grind it out, he put a V in it, he drill the end and all that kind of stuff, he heat it up and weld it properly. Not like when he's little beads over it, he do a proper job. So hopefully I get my wheel back then. Um, we've hit most of the buckle out of it too, but yeah. There we are, wheel has dropped off and it's going to be 35 quid. Absolutely brilliant. Can't complain about that, can you? Um, I run in fact and get Eurek off his car. Nobody has to let me out. Charming some people, aren't they? Oh look at that, he stopped now in front of me as well. Never mind. So yeah, off up to the garage now. I know what today looks like. I might do my head um, headlights. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. But I'll get some um, clips for your exhaust notes and all that kind of stuff, I might as well now. And then um, I'll just upload this video then. Just a bit of a, like I said, ongoing project. My little ASBO, I'd like to call it now. I can't wait to get my plate on here. I'm in a bit of trouble with getting her off the Audi, so that's not ideal. Um, never had an issue before with it. I have on other cars, but that plate I've owned for about, well, 15, 16, maybe even longer years. So yeah, never mind. Let's do this boost. Nice. You can control the exhaust, rattle, noise and stuff, the pops and the bangs. It's just how you drive it, but if you give it a bit of beans. But if you drive it on the fifth and sixth, it's great, you have no dramas there. Down the garage, and as you'll see, nothing stays as is for long with me or here. So, you see, the other bumper came with, and it came with a grill, which was cut out. Not a fan of that, but obviously, um, this is the ST1, 
and Bass, oh, sorry, ST2 and that's the ST3. So I'm going to put my plate on there now. I'm not a fan of these holes. Um, I don't know why people do it, maybe to keep it cooler and stuff, but yeah, my number plate will go back on top of that now. I'm putting the ST badge on the grill. This thing is horrific. We're going to pull this off, hopefully blast it all off the power wash and clean it up, and hope that comes back to normal. Yeah, doing some other things, getting these headlights off too. I'm going to restore them too as well. I video that. Please don't think things goes, goes. Yeah, that's cleaned that up now. As I said, I've got a new catch going for you too. Two of the headlights, just that one bolt here. Take these off the same time as you're going to make templates for the other cars. Yeah, you can just get these off and nail that. So, one light is off the vehicle, that side, and the other one is loosened off. Um, clips a bit dodgy, so I don't want to go yanking her off and now. I'm not going to touch the body work. Um, 800 wet. And then we go through the grades then and uh, we get it like polished up. But you've seen how bad it was and you'll see the finish result now. Do a time lapse. Here we are, we've got a massive downpour bro in the meantime, so cut really well. Both done. Let's clean it up. New grill on and we've got the ST badge on and I've had my key um, new thing come through post today so don't like the holes for two in the number plate, so I just stuck it back on. I didn't go for the side run like everybody else seems to. Um, cleaning up the plastics now for the ECU holder. Got to sort my wheel out again after, like I said. And I think I'm going to paint my brake calipers. But what I'm going to ask you guys is, shall I do them blue? Or shall I do them silver? Or shall I do them red? All the turbos up here today. Two SDs over there, focus. But yeah. Let me know what you think I should do with the brake calibers and what colour, because I'm changing the pads anyway this week. There we are, there's the ECU covers off. Got a texture black piece to tidy up because it's a bright old mess. Like you said, the roll gold. It's just to make it a bit more aesthetically pleasing and more presentable. But yeah, we'll um, texture them, not even drive now, we'll get that back in the car too. That's done, that's better. That's done, that's better. Swap the grill out. Yeah, so induction kit will be off today. This will be off today, so we'll be going back to standard. Um, some more mods and stuff. But yeah, keep the car standard and uh, enjoy it for it is. The last wheel picked up, welded and ground back out as well, not like this bead and stuff I do. So, really happy with that job. Yep, nice. Thank you to ANS and Long Life in Britain Ferry. 12 seconds later. So I just got back from the garage. Excellent news, my bonnet catch kit has come. And I quickly go out and have a look and potentially whip this on. Okie dokie, so that's on. That's on. Take off a two torques from behind and it pops on. So I'm hoping, looking at that, it should work. Here's the magic time. One, two. Hold on. Bear me, can't hold and do this at the same time. Yeah, so that works. Winner. If you look for you, standard push down bonnet crease. Um, I've seen you can buy a gel overlay, it goes here. Um, black ones, but I'm gonna buy it in performance blue, so it's a bit like more color coded. But yeah, three round sort of headlights, sort of under the bonnet, sort of the bonnet catch. Um, it's getting there now, getting there. But that's the first part of the project, and loads more to follow. So like, like and sub.